Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, who wants the redhead? I do. You do. Uh, we're going to talk about Pirates of the Caribbean. We're going to talk about kind of where things are at right now. Disney appears to be doing a either a hard reboot or soft reboot of the franchise that may or may not have Johnny Depp in it. And other rumor came up about the parks that ties into all of it. So we're going to talk about some developments with the Disney parks and the uh, Red the Pirate character, the controversial Red the Pirate character, and how this might actually point to the future of what Disney is planning to do with the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, presumably post Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. So before we get into it, please subscribe. For more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys, we're at almost 125,000 subs. We'd like to get some more. Woo! Okay, but, but I want to talk about this because I'm meh. Right, I have, right. I have words. Okay, so we're gonna get many words. Well, we're gonna get into uh, the red, the red, the pirate character who's been controversial, but uh, nobody seems to know where Johnny Depp is in this. Yeah, it's all over the place with the with the articles even. Yeah, the news articles are all over the place with Johnny Depp. Some people are like, well, he's out. We don't know if he's out. I think it all depends on how things uh, pan out with the Amber Heard lawsuit. Mm -hmm. I think if it turns out that Johnny Depp is proven innocent, then he probably probably will get his career back or part of his career back. Uh, if it doesn't go according to Hoyle, then he's he's probably out the door. Yeah, but the thing is, the fans have already spoken, and they have said repeatedly they don't want Pirates of the Caribbean without Captain Jack. Yeah. Um, but we, we knew we knew they were going to pull this crap. We've been calling it since they changed the attraction. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. So let's let's talk about this. So I want to back this up for those of you who do not follow the theme parks. A couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, Disney decided they had a uh, uh, an internal. A panel of women, I forget what it's called exactly, that they decided that, that it was problematic that the char the redhead character was part of a wench auction. Now, if you're not familiar with the ride, basically, uh, women are being sold by the pirates. Which happened. Like eBay. Yeah. You know, and that, that was part of the attraction for years. Uh, Red had been a very, very popular character mm -hmm. uh, because she's the sassiest. That's right. Wench. They wanted the redhead. They wanted the redhead. She was the sassiest wench. So what happened was Disney, uh, at the urging of no one, again, this is one of their their uh, internal review boards, which is kind of like what they're doing now with uh, historical, rumored to be, rumored to be, doing with their historical attractions. They're putting together a panel of people to go around and look for problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at the urging of literally no one, except for their internal review board, Disney decided to make red a pirate they're no longer selling women instead the pirates are 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 selling uh rum chickens uh, antiques goats mm -hmm. you know uh a hen for a ten which neon hates i that. hate that he line does. he hates it <laughs> i mean i'm gonna be honest i don't think the scene was terrible it was just another case of disney changing something that literally nobody was outraged for but we have said repeatedly that the Walt Disney Company doesn't do anything out of pure benevolence. There's mm -mm. always, always, always a motivation as to why they make drastic changes like this, especially since when they made the announcement at D23, they were booed. Yes. Disney fans booed Disney for changing the auction scene, the wench auction. And as we've been saying repeatedly, that they were most likely going to turn around and use Red the Pirate for the new Pirates of the Caribbean films. We've been saying it since they changed it. Yep, because it was like, it was like, yeah, why else would they make this change? Why would they make her kind of a a hero character? I mean, she wasn't even, she wasn't even in like the background. They, they made her, you know, take charge of that scene. And, you know, people can say, well, they just want to show women power. It's like, no, 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 no. They're test marketing a lead character. Right. And even after they changed this, they wouldn't hire a face actress, but to play the character at Disneyland to go out and do meet and greets with people outside the attraction. So, you know, you can sit there and say, oh, they're updating it. But why go as far as to try to make this character really popular with the fans um, outside? And people kept saying, oh, it's just because people were mad. No, no. We kept saying, no, they're going to do something with her for the movies. Guaranteed. They wouldn't do this otherwise. Then comes today where there is a rumor from WDW Magic with WDW Pro again that guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my so, God. So, interesting. Here's where it goes. Just got in 
info that Red the Pirate and Pirates of the Caribbean and in other park appearances will be receiving new attire for a bit of a makeover. The change is planned to occur next year with the ramp up and company attention for the character in June of 2021. The character's new look is being designed out of the film departments of the company, not Disney Parks. So no details yet on what the new appearance might be. Of course, with the world in the situation that it is, timelines can obviously change. The film department, not the park department. So what could potentially be going on here? Well, they just announced Margot Robbie getting a new Pirates movie. Right, and these are two mo movies in conjunction with the other Pirates of the Caribbean movie they were already doing. So, you know, we don't know if they're if it's a sequel or if they're trying to build a, a, a Pirates of the Caribbean expanded universe, uh, extended universe, or what, but I would bet my left nut, which is my favorite, I, <laughs> I would bet... I would bet that the costume that Red the Pirate gets is the costume they're designing possibly for Margot Robbie's character. Probably. And then here's the kicker, you know, on top of all this, I'm waiting for them to say, well, the one movie's done, they're just going to do the Margot Robbie film. But here's the problem. If Disney is doing this thing where you can only stay in your lane, you can only play characters that are like you and look like you, then why the hell, if she's playing Red the Pirate, I have an issue, they should have hired a redhead. Redheads have enough trouble getting jobs in Hollywood. If, <laughs> if, if Margot Robbie's playing red, oh, hell no. I demand that you go and cast a redhead for the part. Because by your own, by your own things you're doing in Disney, then you need to only hire people who are those characters. So there need, it needs to be a redhead if it's Red the Pirate. It has to be a redhead actress. Karen Gillan, because she's the only one getting any work. Yeah, but she would be awesome at it. She actually, I, I, I'll tell you the truth. I would be on board with Karen Gillan playing a pirate. Yep, me too. I, I would. Because you need to hire a redhead. Heck, this girl did a great job too. You need to hire a redhead because if you're going to change everything because you're not the right, you know, ethnicity or race or, you know, whatever for characters, you only could be who you are, then you need a redhead because the ring of redhead isn't just a hair color. Yep. Um, so we're a big minority too. There you go. Actually, red, redheads are very, uh, very much a minority. But yeah, this is it's all coming together. Everything that we've been saying for the last two years now, it, it the fact that it's being designed by the film department uh, tells us that this this is a character that was designed to be in movies because when they introduced Red the Pirate, again, nobody was asking for this change. Mm -mm. Nobody cared. They got it was a joke. It was a ride. It was created in the 60s. Nobody gave a shit. Um, they didn't care, but uh, Disney never does anything out of pure benevolence. This wasn't because of women power. This was because we were knee deep in the Johnny Depp controversy mm -hmm. and they were already looking for another lead character and they're pushing this Red the Pirate character regardless of whether or not people actually like her they're pushing her so they already knew with if johnny depp is out we're getting a female lead for the next movie yep let's 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 lay the groundwork now let's introduce her in the ride so we can be like golly red the pirate was just so unexpectedly popular yeah we just didn't understand how many people would love her as they boot her at d23 yeah as they as they yeah let's let's bring that up again as they booed her booed the change at D23 as there was a petition with like 40, 50,000 signatures to keep the ride the way to the, the way that it was. Obviously people didn't care about the scene. They did not feel the need for, for Disney to change it, but they were going to introduce this character not to be woke, but because they're like, this is the character in five or six years we're going to introduce to replace Johnny Depp. Now, to be fair, if it was a real redhead, she most likely would be the pirate, not the one person at for auction. I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah. Redheads, you know, no one puts a redhead in the corner. But, um, you know, I mean, I could see me being a pirate before I'd see me being like, oh, no, bid on me. But, um, you know, this whole thing is a rumor, of course. I want to make sure I specify that. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. But it's a rumor I feel very likely to be true. And and then here's the next thing. I'm waiting for now. We have two movies. How much do you bet one of them gets canceled? And then suddenly it's just the one with Margot Robbie moving forward. Yeah, it does seem weird that they have Why two. Why two at the same time? They have, doesn't make sense. Yeah, they have two Pirates of the Caribbean movies in development side by side. Uh, one by the team that did the, the original series, mm -hmm. which seems like a soft reboot. It sounds to me like they're going to throw spaghetti against the wall and they're gonna be like okay can we do a completely hard reboot with the birds of prey team because it's margot robbie and the screenwriter from birds of prey yeah because that did so well in the theater right or are we gonna use the one that, i think it's a ted elliott 
who wrote the other Pirates movies. And then the guy from Chernobyl, that Madison. And Chernobyl. And what's going to happen is, oh, it's a female-led movie. We can't have men writing female characters. By default, we're going to go with Margot Robbie and the, the Birds of Prey screenwriter. Yeah, Christina Hodson. Hodson. Yeah, so, so yeah. you know, you have to do that. And, you know, she's going to be red, even though it's not going to be played by a real redhead, which is, I, I protest, in case she didn't get that already. Yeah. God, that makes me mad. This whole you have to do, you have to only can play characters who you are, but then they're going to hire Mara Robbie to play most likely red. Most I mean, likely. It might not be, she might not be red, but I'm thinking it, she's going to be red. Why the push for her in the parks? Yeah, they, they said it's gonna, they're going to ramp her up in June 2021. Which would be about the time that the movie would be in production, presumably. Well, it's possible it's for the other movie, but I find it unlikely. I find it very unlikely. One way or another. It's for a movie. I, I, again, I, I love my left nut. I'm, I'm betting it that we're going to see Red the Pirate in some capacity in one of these movies. Which we've been calling since they changed her. I mean, immediately since they changed her, uh, Neon's been saying, you know, they're, they, they're doing this for a movie. They're doing, they're going to, they're going to put in Pirates of the Caribbean. You watch. And yep. that's what we've been saying since they changed it. Cause it made no sense to change her. Now, of course, all of this is rumor. Um, but I would, I, I, this one I, I think was probably true. Yeah. Again, you know, Disney doesn't do anything out of pure benevolence. Even all the changes they're making to the parks right now. I mean, they made such a big deal about Splash Mountain getting a makeover now after the protest, but realize that's been in the works for a while. And of course, they're going to change it to a princess themed attraction because they can sell more merchandise. Mm -hmm. They never they never pass up on an opportunity to sell princess merch. So what they're trying to spin as being an act of pure benevolence actually has uh capitalist undertone I'm sure it does. to it the, the, I'm sorry magic and pixie dust be damned Disney doesn't do anything unless they make money from it yep and uh they're they're trying to push this character because even if Johnny Depp wasn't controversial right now because of the Amber Heard situation uh he's expensive mm -hmm. he's very very expensive so they're probably like well we can get somebody cheaper to come in here and carry the franchise forward because we don't know how these movies are going to do the plus last is a woman plus is a woman you know, I mean, let's be honest. That's that's what's trendy right diversity now. Diversity in Hollywood means you're female. Yep, and uh, yeah, I, I I'm just watch for it, guys. Watch for it. There's no reason, no reason to make this kind of a change right now, mm -mm. Uh, other than to prep for these movies. Right. So hundred percent or movie, whichever. Yeah, I'm happens. still thinking they're gonna have two, and then suddenly it's gonna be one. Yeah. That's yeah. what you think too. Yeah, I think they were hired. I think Margot Robbie and Christina Hodson were hired to replace Ted Elliott and the Chernobyl guy. They just don't know it yet. And we're going to have dueling because this is what they do. They're like, oh, give me a treatment. Give us a treatment. And then it'll just be like, oh, well, we're going to cancel that and just go with this other one. Well, this has been giving a lot of people a treatment. So that's that's probably maybe possibly what's going on. So we'll see. It's all rumor. His shirt says probably, maybe possibly, because you always say that. Probably, maybe. Well, no, I have to say that because of all the stupid people that watch our channel. They're like, you said this and this didn't happen exactly the way you said. And I'm it was like, only 90% like you said. It was only 90%. You don't know anything. <laughs> you don't know anything. It's only 90% what so you guys said. So if your left not your favorite, does it have a name? You've never told me if it did. Luis. Luis. Luis yeah. the left nut. Okay. Yeah. Now we all know because I didn't know this either. All right. So let's wrap this up. Yeah. I, I like Luis. So don't, uh, don't hold me to it if this doesn't happen because I don't want to lose him. Okay. We've been friends for a long time. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.